there is only very few ways that the death spell can be broken. And it's either someone who has magic can see through the spell, or I guess I don't remember exactly they have how that to, part works. As far as I know, they have to either completely unmake the spell, which yeah. means it's got to be somebody with, this is a guess, more power than Zed. Yeah. Which, okay, could be. Or somebody with magic has to know her and call her by name out loud. Yeah. And be like, you're fucking Kaylin. And then, so it's either that or Zed's dead. And yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I believe the last we know of Zed was he was planning to fly away with Gratch. Yep. Which now. He's not with Kaylin right now. Yeah. So Kaylin can't confirm that. Yeah. And they weren't even 100% sure if the whole flying thing was going to work. So I know I was qu- pretty worried. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm like, uh, uh, Zed is, I, at the very least, Zed's unconscious is where I'm thinking right now. Like, he must be out out of it completely. The magic's not, the batteries are dead. What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. He's taking a nap. I got a mouse that's yeah. working much the same way right now, yeah. so I get it. It can be frustrating. <laughs> he, he had one too many spoons of spice soup, and it's, that afternoon nap sometimes just knocks you right out. Oh, you said soup? Yeah. I gave him the rum. Oh, oh shit. Rum soup? Spice rum soup. Oh, fuck. Did, did we just find the next Patreon this episode? This is definitely that. <laughs> so Kalen goes after Toby, Toby Brogy. Is Toby that what Brogy. you said? Toby yeah. Brogy's horse, slicing its leg, which God, she's just vicious today. Yeah. While Addie shields her from Lunetta's attack. So she's too tired to be able to sense magic, but she can create a shield. Okay. Just, just checking. That's which, cool. Hey, again, adrenaline's a hell of a drug. <laughs> And useful as hell at yeah. the moment. Yeah. Well, and and I feel like we're almost getting into, like, Khaleesi territory with Kaylin here. Like, she's the mother confessor, queen of Galea, uh, cutter of arteries, slicer of horses. Oh, God. Like, she's getting a lot of titles right that's now. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Horse mutilator, whichever one floats your boat. No, that's Richard for sure. Horse the, mutilator. The ride through the desert when he just, yeah, just killed yeah. all the... Is that mutilation? Yeah, well, you know, no, it wouldn't be. That would be death from exhaustion. That's just so. abuse. He's just abuser of horses. <laughs> abuser of horses. <laughs> Kalen's the mutilator. Yeah, mutilator. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Between them, you know, horse has no chance. No. For sure. I would, if I was a horse and saw them coming toward me, I'm going the other way. <laughs> you would not like to see them operating a farm or anything. Like, what are you guys doing? Oh, God. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't be great. <laughs> So Toby is thrown into the trees, and Addie flame balls the other horse's head. Their head. Does Terry Goodkind not like horses? I'm starting to suspect that might be the case. Did he have, like, all the bad guys were on horses? Well, let's kill the horse. Let's not. We don't have horses. Yeah. We're exhausted. Yeah. Let's kill the bad guys. Take the horses. Yeah. Nope. No, no. Just kill the horses. Hey, hey, what if you flame balled the riders on the horse? (laughs) Nah. Damn it, Eddie. Nah. Aim up. <laughs> well, going going okay. for the horse's And head. this is kind of a silly theory, but Addie's eyesight does work with magic. Ooh. So maybe if she's that tired, she can't even see. It's an entertaining theory, I think. Which, I mean, it could be. I mean, so like this chapter picked up and we said, or they said that Kalen didn't see Orsk get killed. Right. And therefore, we didn't see Orsk get killed. So it could be that, like, we just see Kaylin see Addie shoot flame balls at horses' heads, but really, Addie in her head might have been like, I'm going to fuck up those riders. And then, yeah, her GPS was a little off. So she fried Orsk? No, 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 I I was just saying that. Oops, sorry, I didn't (laughs) see that was, he was one of ours, right? (laughs) Addie, those are allies. Damn it. (laughs) Somebody turned me around. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) That's bad. No, I was saying oh. that her her MGPS, her magical GPS, she thought she was shooting flame balls at the riders. Oh, like you I got said, it. She just missed because she's she so tired. Yeah, she, she just can't see. She hit the horses. I like it. Casualties. <laughs> well, Kaylin tells Addie to try and slow one of the two sorceresses who are trying to flee. Flee, not free. I almost said that word, but it's not that word. Um, and she'll try to use her power, right? This makes sense because 
if you get a sorceress on your side, like you're solid. You could definitely use that. Uh, there's a note from Jade that says, I have wondered if her using it will break the spell. Like if somebody saw her, especially since there are supposed to be no confessors left. Yeah, because the death spell is just for Kalen, not for confessors. Right. So if all of a sudden, if she confesses someone. And they're like, I know who the fuck you are. Trigger. Yeah. Wow. That's a very good point. You know what? Maybe I don't replace her permanently. <laughs> Maybe, well, you know, it's a temporary thing. Um, temporary meaning just for today. And uh, Oh, and, you, you told me this would be for multiple episodes. Well, that's, you know, your contract says that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to talk about that a little oh, more. God. Yeah. It's fine. The fee is real small. It's not even that big a deal. Oh, well, if I don't have to pay that much, I guess that's, that's okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, right. I mean it's a solid two fifty a month, and I mean it's you can't beat that value. <laughs> <laughs> right. I really wanted to keep going, but I couldn't. So Kalen needs the sorcerer rest to slow down. Uh huh. I wonder how gung ho that sorceress would be if all of a sudden Kalen offered her a beer. Are you trying to tell me that it's time for the beer break? No, I'm just trying to tell you that I'm out of beer. Oh. <laughs> and it, it would be really cool if that coincided with the beer break. <laughs> well, there, there's there been a couple, although so far it's not been in our character's favor, there have been a couple very convenient things. Yeah. And I think that would be a very convenient thing to do right now. Well, hopefully nothing sabotages this. I think that's pronounced sabrotage, right? I don't know how to read. <laughs> All right, so tonight, today, this morning, afternoon, whenever you're listening to this, we have Sabrotage from Shorts Brew. It's an India Pale Ale with Sabro hops. The art on this bottle is fantastic. It's a car made out of hops um, doing sort of a Tenacious D, Cutlass Supreme getaway type it's awesome. <laughs> and uh, Nate, can you confirm that there is a mustache on the hood of the car? There is, in fact, a mustache yep. on okay. the hood of a car. Okay. I just want to make sure I was not seeing things there. You got to not be fucking around with your car when you're like, you know what it needs? Mustache. Mustache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm looking, and on this, I don't see a percentage, which is a bummer. No. But I, I can say, you know, this is one of those IPAs where I thought it was going to be good. It felt safe. That's yeah. why I got it. Yeah. Um, and so I, I pull it out of the fridge. I show Aaron. I'm like, hey, this is what we're going to have tonight. And he's like, dude, I just bought that last week. Now, he hadn't tried it yet. So this no. is both of our first time trying this beer. Um, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Like, I I like this. Yeah. No, this is good. I. If I had to guess, I'm going with uh, 5.2%. Is it on there? Did I just miss no, it? No, no. Oh. That's just a guess. I, like, it's it's hoppy. It's very hoppy, but it's still kind of light. Like, it's still pretty light and crisp. Like, it's it's pretty good. And I don't know if... if I feel like you guys have had to have beers from Shorts on here before. But Yes, we have had Shorts beers before. Yeah, this, this is a Michigan beer up from uh, Elk Rapids. So uh, supporting the supporting the local guys, but yeah, this is delicious. And honestly, the reason that I bought this oh. was well, it looked fucking cool, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Rule of cool. Do you want to know uh, what the percentage is? I just looked I, it up on Google. Yep, you have the phone. Well, you have a phone, and you looked it up. I am very curious. What is the percentage? Seven point four. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty high, right? That's. Uh, I think that was what I guessed. I think I said 7.4. You know, thinking back, yeah. Yeah. You might have had a little slur because, you know, it's yeah. 7.4. I know a lot of times when I say 7.4, it sounds like 5.2. 5, or 2. 5, 2. See? <laughs> See, you didn't even remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, uh, this is a great beer. I think you can get, well, I know other shorts beers you can get nationwide. I don't know if you can get this one across the country or even in Europe. But if you guys find this one, definitely get it. This is an IPA I like, again. Now, the real test is going to be whether or not Jade likes it. 
So probably not. Yeah, I don't. But I'm going to save one of mine for her and I'm going to see what she thinks. And then we will update all of you and we will be back right after this. We're back, and we have finally figured out how to do this podcasty thingy, kinda. I mean, I just wish you would have asked me sooner. I I really could have helped you guys out. Like, I listen to so many podcasts. I'm kind yeah. of a podcast expert. What's your favorite podcast, Aaron? Oh man, that's uh. Your face said it all. I know you don't that's... have to say it. No, no, I will because the listeners might want to know. <laughs> um, there's actually this really cool. Uh, podcast I listen to that does a, they like go over their favorite book series mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then they 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 read like chapter and then they have a discussion. Oh, um, I can't remember the name of it. They stopped recording a long time ago, but I think it's really cool that you guys are trying to emulate, you know, a fraction of how good they were. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, how well, that how that go for you? <laughs> that's why we had you on, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, well. Give me a better rate on my contract, and maybe I'll compliment you guys more. Fine, three fifty. Deal. This is my favorite podcast. No, you pay us. That's just you know. God damn the. Fucking... I explained that to you over the break. I thought this was very clear. The goddamn fine print always gets me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So the sorceress that was on foot approaches Kaylin and Addie, and with them is with beside her too. They have friends now. You know, the thing Richard was worried about coming for her with the whole no protection thing? Yeah, you know, which, Bingo. Is, which is why he sent Gratch and to prevent this whole thing from happening. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Now, Annie tries to hold her off, but the woman just tosses her aside. Like, so, I pretty, mean, Addie's tired. Pretty easily. I believe they yeah. said it was like, she tossed her aside like, oh, I'll pluck that chicken later. Like, it was nothing. Yeah. Which is worrisome a little bit we really don't know who this lady is yet no it's just the sorceress very ominous yeah um so the mrizwith knocked kaylin to her knees and disarms her very swiftly could have called that i suppose plus i mean look they're they're tired and they had surprise D D. you know they rolled they they got surprised so they were at a disadvantage I don't know how many of you play that, but that obviously happened here. I was a little curious because Kaylin said something here about how, like, she was like, oh, how did the Mrizwith move so fast? You've literally never seen these things before in your life. Yeah. Why are you assuming you know how they work? Well, yeah, does she know that they go invisible? Now, by the sight of them, she knows that this is the thing that Richard had described to her. But now that I'm thinking about it, does she know that? They might not have moved that fast. They probably just snuck up on you. Maybe there was two, and one went invisible, right as the other one uninvisibled. Teleport. Not really, though. Teleport. Yeah. yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know. I actually don't hate that. Like, they just fuck with people. I'm over here. Now I'm over here. Yeah. They're not fast. They're actually very slow. Sluggish, <laughs> if you will. But uh, with the power of TV magic, they appear fast. Right. The the full name of Amrizwith is actually Amriz Slothwith. So that was a bad joke, and I apologize for it. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Anyways, before she can make another move or me another joke, Addie surprises her with a blow from behind, knocking her into Kalen. The Amrizwith was apparently... Not watching her back, in fact. Yeah, as, as far as tag team tactics go, Mrizwith and Sorceress not doing great so far. <laughs> Pretty rough. Yeah. They must be a new tag. Like, they just formed their tag team, whereas Kalen and Addy have kind of been going at this for a while, so they're, they're a lot more in sync. Yeah, yeah, they're in tune with each other. Yeah. But because this happens, Kalen is able to grab her wrist, and time becomes hers. There's thunder without sound, all that until the woman is hers to command and is told to fucking protect me (laughs) which good move that's what we assumed she would do yeah lightning rips the air and dudes start dying so here's an incredible fashion i might add yeah it sounded pretty of blood aaron it, it sounded pretty spectacular if you're into that kind of thing i'm 
into that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, well, that's recorded audio that for sure won't come back to haunt you. Uh, no, so I I was trying to think back because 